Jackfruit is very interesting plant that people in tropical have been eating jackfruit for many hundred years because we can eat them ripe as a fruit and we can eat them raw as a vegetable or we can cook in different kind of recipe. It's okay. And then now people eat less and less jackfruit because people don't like the sap of the jackfruit. It's hard to clean. But actually, it's very easy to clean if you know the technique. Jackfruit is very easy to grow. We can grow from seed if it's local varieties. But if it's hybrid varieties, it's not good to grow from seeds because it will change the quality. Sometimes the color will, will change, the meat will change, the texture will change. But if we grow from seeds, sometimes we will get new varieties. It may be better than before. Jackfruit, it takes only three years, even you grow from seed or from grafting. Three years, they grow big enough to produce the fruit. When they're big enough, the fruit will come out from the stem. And then it will have flowers like green buds like this. This is a flower of jackfruit. And after it bloom, it will open and tiny jackfruit will come out from the flowers like this. And then the skin of the tiny jackfruit will be very soft and nice. Not really long. The soft skin will change to thorns. It will be many thorns, be bigger and bigger. When the thorn very far apart like this, that means it's ripe, almost ripe. When the thorn is close together like this, that means it's young. We can eat young. The problem of jackfruit is frying squirrel. They like to come and eat our jackfruit when it's almost ripe. The way to prevent them is just use feedback or plastic bag to wrap jackfruit. They will not disturb much. That will be the way to save it. Or you can trap squirrel and take them away very far. Jackfruit can be the food for the future because they grow fast and they produce a lot. And jackfruit has very high nutrition. More and more people who are vegetarian start to eat more jackfruit because the texture is like a meat. It's easy to eat. It's yummy too. How to eat ripe jackfruit? We need to select the one that the thorn a little bit far apart like this and soft. When you press it, you can feel it soft and smell good. That's ready to eat. What we need to prepare to cut jackfruit is margarine, a knife and plastic bag. Margarine will help to clean up the sap of jackfruit very well. It's better than any kind of oil. And plastic bag help to clean up the sap very well. And the sap, if it's stained on the floor, is hard to clean. So it's good to cover the floor with plastic that we will not use it or cardboard. Then we use margarine apply on the knife and our hand and use that knife to cut jackfruit open. So when we cut it, it still has some sap can come out from the, the meat of the jackfruit. So it will not stick on our hand. When we open it like this, we can see more sap. So the way to do it, just use plastic bag and wrap it. So plastic bag will clean all the sap out. So we need to have the plastic bag like this close to us all the time. This is the way we can clean it easily. And after that, we just cut the core of the jackfruit off. It will help to make it easy to take the meat out. This part is not edible. The white part is like a sponge, tasteless. And then sometimes it's a lot of sap in there too. So whenever we cut it, it always has some tiny sap come out. It's good to clean it often with plastic bag. And then there's no more sap left in that jackfruit. And after that, we have to cut the side of the jackfruit a little bit to make it open 
easily and then we can put something to support in under it so it will be open more that will help us to take the jackfruit meat out easily this part we need to cut the small uh, piece of like a, the small five what do you call this part I don't know how to call it like a, a tiny piece like this it's too tough to eat it's good it's okay to eat but it's too tough to eat we open and take the seed out including the fiber that wrap around the seed so it there's no sap left after this this is the part that they're going to eat it tastes good the seed of jackfruit don't throw away we can boil them and it's easy to cook because after it boil it take about five or ten minutes it will be totally done and we can eat it it's like a potato we can use to cook in many things put in the curry put in anything easily or we just eat it right like this it's it's good it's like a potato tastes very good so don't throw away seed of jackfruit and then for the young jackfruit how can we eat it it's the same technique we need to use uh, margarine to rub in our hand and everything and peel off the green part of it because it's quite tough and after that we clean with plastic bag very well take all the soft out and we can cut them and chop them so this part we can eat raw as vegetable like this so it's a little bit tough but it's quite nice taste people in thailand eat a lot of raw jackfruit like this in the past this part we are going to boil them to make jackfruit salad in thai style what we need for jackfruit salad is black sesame and white sesame we dry fry them and then make it fat like this and grind them up so it will good smell and then we need sticky rice and dry fry them until it turn brown color like this and blend or grind them very well another part is we need garlic onion mints chilies all the green leaf we chop them very well and then all the thing that we roast them or dry fry them we need to blend them or grind them very fine too we start with pound garlics and chilies together and then we add cooked jackfruit jackfruit when it's cooked is always soft easy to smash them to make them soft and not chunky we smash them to make it very soft and fine and another part normally we will boil some fish and add some fish meat in the in the salad too but this one will be vegetarian so we don't use fish we use tomatoes galangal and onion we boil them together and then we add tomatoes in to the jackfruit and smash together mix together very well and then we just add the juice in there it's good to have more juice than this to make it not too thick it will taste better not too dry after everything looks smooth we add sesame black sesame white sesame and then roasted rice and everything that we prepare except the green thing we add some uh, soy sauce to make the taste as we want how salty do you want how do you like the taste use soy sauce to decorate as we want but the green part of it we add when everything mixed well and we taste it good we just add some green onion or anything green like mint that's all it's very easy we eat with sticky rice it's very good and another dish is make soup from young jackfruit we chop them into a small chunk like this the ingredient that we need for this soup is what we call wild beetle leaf bush or scientific name is piper salmon salmon tossum we eat a lot in tropical in especially in thailand this vegetable 
the next vegetable that we need is crumbing water or the scientific name is acacia pennata. This is kind of vegetable is quite stinky and a lot of thorn is widely used in Thailand. People love a lot because they like the smell it's stinky. The next ingredient is tomato. We need quite a few tomato. I think more tomato is good and then we start with smash garlic, onion, chilies and trim paste. Smash together. Don't need to make it very fine just to make it break apart. That's good enough. And then we just add into the hot water in the pot. We don't need a lot of hot water. Just a little bit and then make something like a tiny soup and let it boil. When it starts to boil very well, we add young jackfruit in there. And after that, we just chop the vegetable, chop them not too fine, and tomato and everything. After we let it cook a little bit, we can add fish sauce and pork. If we are vegetarian, we can use uh, soy sauce or soy paste in, in the soup. It's okay. Then we add tomato. It's good to add tomato and let it boil to make tomato uh, cook for a while to get the flavors from tomato very well. Because the flavor of tomato will make it taste good. And after that, we can add the green leaves, green things in there. So the green, we always add at the end because we don't want to cook it too long. We want it to look green to keep the nutrition last long. That's all the jackfruit soup in northern of Thailand. Easy. These are some of the style of cooking with jackfruit in Thailand for many hundred years. And now I think new generation can invent new recipe from jackfruit easily. Jackfruit can be the future of our food because it's so cheap to grow them, so easy to have them, less care but produce a lot.